vultures in India are becoming extinct. The birds are not only important for environmental health but also have considerable cultural and religious significance in India and elsewhere. Till a couple of decades ago, vultures had a comfortable population status, but it changed dramatically. The number saw a steep slide as much as 90% in some species in India since the 1990s. This is one of the most drastic declines in bird populations in the world. There are nine recorded species of vultures in India, namely the oriental white-backed, long-billed, slender-billed, Himalayan, red-headed, Egyptian, bearded, cinereus, and the Eurasian griffon. Between the 1990s and 2007, numbers of three presently critically endangered species, the oriental white-backed, long-billed, and slender-billed vultures, crashed massively with 99% of the species having been wiped out. The number of red-headed vultures, also critically endangered now, declined by 91%, while the Egyptian vultures by 80%. One of the major reasons behind the decline in vulture population is the drug diclofenac found in the carcass of cattle that the vultures feed on. While the Indian government has been carrying out a conservation project for the vultures since 2006, the plan is now to extend the project to 2025 to not just halt the decline but to actively increase the vulture numbers in India. Union Minister for Environment, Forests and Climate Change Prakash Javrekar has launched a vulture action plan for 2020-25 for the conservation of vultures in the country with an estimated budget of 207 crores. The centre plans to stop the misuse and overuse of veterinary non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs that lead to the death of vultures by regulating its sale only against prescription and ensuring all treatment of livestock is done by qualified veterinarians. Apart from this, the centre plans to establish five vulture conservation breeding centres, one each in Uttar Pradesh, Tripura, Maharashtra, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. Establishment of four rescue centres in Pinjor, Bhopal, Guwahati and Hyderabad. It will further help the state governments in establishing a vulture safe zone in each state and lastly carry out a coordinated nationwide vulture count to get more accurate estimate of the size of the population. Hopefully, these new breeding centers will be quickly set up and fast-tracked into action to save these birds.